In this video, I want to show you a counter trend trading system that I like to use. It's based on the RSI. I'm using the superior RSI indicator from Ninza. This allows me to have a gradient color painted on the actual RSI, and it also allows me to have these shaded areas for overbought and oversold. And as well, it'll print this background color on the chart when it's in overbought or oversold territory. So it definitely helps out with the visual cues. And one way I like to use it, I've got my main chart of a NASDAQ one minute chart, but I also have ES data loaded and YM data loaded all on this one chart. And then I've got three instances of the superior RSI, uh, one for the NASDAQ, one for the ES, and one for the YM. And they're all printing on this chart so there's no need for a bunch of different charts. I can see everything I need to see all in one chart. I also wanted to show you this innovative ordering indicator for Ninza. It has options for market orders, limit orders, uh, all kinds of different things. I've got it set to a very bare bones setting where I'm just having a buy and a sell button and a close button. But you can change the width of these, the height of these, uh, how far in off the edges the buttons come, you can change the colors, the font, pretty much anything. And I forgot to mention I also have the Ninza support resistance radar indicator loaded. That's giving us these blue support and resistance lines. I'm definitely going to be using these in conjunction with this system. So this is from today, September 21st, Wednesday. So we're in the pre-market. It's a little bit after 8.30. We've been getting these overbought areas printing. And I don't want to get in just as soon as these print a red background. I'm not looking to go short as soon as they print a red background. Often price will just keep going up and up and up and up. What we want to wait for is when a candle closes outside of this RSI overbought area, which it just did right there. And we are right next to a support and resistance radar line. So I would be looking to get short right there. I'm going to move my stop right above the high and I could go for a conservative target of this little choppy range right there or I could target down this next support and resistance radar line. I'm going to target this next support and resistance radar line. The reason I wouldn't get into a trade here when the candle printed out of the overbought area is because we're kind of right in the middle of these two blue support and resistance radar lines. I want to wait till price is right next to one of these support and resistance radar lines. And I want price to print a candle outside of the overbought or oversold regions. And it also helps when we have overbought areas from another chart. So when it's this light shaded red, that's just overbought on one chart. And when it's this darker shade, it's overbought on at least two of the three charts. So the more confirmation we can get, the better. We're really not looking for a bunch of trades. It's a counter trend trade system, and I might get one, two, or three trades a day on this. So we're getting closer to the market open. Something I'm noticing is we are Staying up around these highs, but the RSI is getting lower and lower. So it's still looking good for our short. Price has come down a bit. I'm going to move my stop up to above this support and resistance radar line. All right, that was a great trade right there. So here we're entering into oversold conditions. We're going to wait and see if we get a candle that prints outside of this blue shaded area. All right, so immediately we get a candle that prints right outside of this blue shaded area. And we have multiple areas of support here with the support and resistance radar. So I went ahead and got in long at this line, close to this line. I uh, put my stop below this last support and resistance radar line. 
And again, if I was going conservatively, I could target this kind of area of chop, which I think I might just do that. If we want to be if we wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, we could target back up this last support and resistance radar line. So it gave us a little heat there. Didn't go back into the over sold region, so things were still looking all right there. Looks like we could have targeted a little bit higher. So here I'm noticing prices coming down there, but the RSI is much higher. So there's some divergence there. I would expect this to keep going and finally hit this next support and resistance radar line up here. So it did make it up there and our original stop would have been fine under this last support and resistance radar line. These lines are really coming in handy for stop placement and target placement. But like I said, I'm only looking for one or two or three trades a day with this counter trend trading system, so I'm not looking to over trade this right now. So you can see we didn't get any other signals for the rest of the day. It's almost 11. This is when I'm usually done trading. Market was just chopping around, waiting for the FOMC news to come out, so there wasn't too much price action going on this morning. So here's what our system looked like right before the FOMC announcement. We were entering into overbought area. We we're kind of hovering in the middle of this range between these support and resistance lines. But once it did come up and touch this support and resistance line, you know, that would be a low risk short up there with your stop shortly above. It would be a pretty crazy trade right before the FOMC announcement. Nonetheless, it worked. We had a nice drop down. Here we enter into oversold conditions shortly after the news and then we get a candle that prints out of this RSI oversold zone. But if we look at our charts, A, we just had this huge move to the downside. I would be wondering if this is really going to bounce that much higher. The sentiment is obviously down. And also if we look at our support and resistance radar, we just have tons of lines right in here that you would not want to be buying into. There's just not enough room to make any money right there. But once price pulls back, we come back down near these lows and we can see we're getting some divergence on the RSI. Price is coming down close to the lows and the RSI is moving up. Uh, down here, we're right at the support and resistance radar line again and the RSI is still moving up. So that would be a possible area to finally get long. And then we enter into overbought area. We get a candle that prints outside of the area. And once again, we've just seen this huge move. You know, really how far is this going to retrace? Uh, we are kind of in the middle. We're not, we're not near one of these support and resistance lines. So I would be less interested in that trade. And it did only make it down to this double support and resistance radar line right there. But as it pulls back, you see it's hovering around this price, but the RSI keeps going down even though it's butting up against these highs over and over. You know, this might be a good place to get short somewhere around this line when you're seeing all this divergence. You got plenty of room in between these support and resistance radar lines. And that took a nice little drop down there about 50 points or so. I had an issue with the playback data from September 20th so I wasn't able to use that but I can go back to September 19th and show you what happened there. Uh, in the pre-market we had a nice double or triple overbought area, a candle print outside. Wasn't really much room to go, probably wouldn't have taken that trade but once it breaks down below this level just a lot of support and resistance areas and I don't necessarily trade the pre-market that often so I'm more or less waiting for the market open here at 930. Here we have market open. There's an oversold area that just printed. 
and then a candle that printed outside of that area right away and we are right at this blue line that was a pretty strong candle too I'm gonna go ahead and get in there I'm gonna move my stop right below those lows uh, for my take profit could target uh, that was quick okay so we're out of that trade actually made it up to this support and resistance radar line and then bounced you know almost 10 points right off of that line but since this is a counter trend trade system and I'm only looking for a couple of trades a day I'm just gonna wait and see what happens for a little while so we started to get into our overbought area here and again you don't want to get in as soon as this starts printing a red background because you can see price often just keeps going up and up what we want to do is we want to wait for a candle to print outside of this colored background and thanks to our triple instrument system it's reading data from the NASDAQ the ES and the YM it's showing us overbought on all three of those different charts so we're still in the zone it hasn't printed a candle outside this last candle won't have a background. You have to wait till it actually closes, and then you'll know if it's outside of the zone or still in the zone. So for now, we're just going to wait. So again, you can see why waiting until we get out of this overbought zone is key. The price just kept going up and up and up. What I'm noticing now is we have some divergence on the RSI. Price has moved higher, but the RSI is lower than it was over here when price was lower. So if we do get a candle that prints outside of this RSI overbought zone, I'm definitely interested in a short. All right, here we have a candle that printed outside of the zone. We are coming down to this resistance line. I'd probably want to wait till it broke below that. So I'm going to move my stop above these highs here. Seems like a good area to have a take profit. Kind of down this cluster and right near this support and resistance radar line. So I'm going to move my stop up above those highs. We still have our RSI moving down. There we got our take profit. Second trade of the day. So here we had a nice overbought region as well. And we're up making new highs, but our RSI is making new lows. So there's definitely some divergence right there. When we got a candle that printed out of the zone though, it was right next to this support and resistance line. I uh, thought about getting in there as soon as it broke, but there wasn't enough room to take a really good trade. That was still about 12 points. It, it would have been a good trade. It would have worked. But it definitely bounced off this really thick support and resistance radar line. So it looked good, but I'm only interested in taking trades that are giving me just ultimate confidence there is only this was a light red background that means it was only overbought on one of the instruments versus over here it was overbought on three instruments right there two instruments here and one instrument there and back here you can see how all those together were keeping us from shorting until the right moment when it finally printed outside of this area so here we just got a candle that printed outside of our overbought region here. I'm going to leave my stop right above these highs and I'm going to have a target right above this support resistance radar line here, this blue line. This will be my third and final trade of the day as it's almost 11 o'clock and that's usually when I'm done trading by. All right, three trades, three winners be done for the day on that. We had one overbought area here, then two overbought areas, and then three overbought areas. And then finally we had a candle that printed outside 
of the overbought region. And that's where we entered with our stop right above the high and our target right at the support resistance radar line. So you can see how using multiple instruments together can help keep you out of bad trades and help you confirm when trades are extra likely of working out in your favor.